Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Here I'm going to discuss with you few important questions from uh, HIV in pregnancy. A 41 years old woman attends the antenatal clinic at 28 weeks of gestation as a part of her regular antenatal clinic visits. She is HIV positive on combined antiretroviral therapy. Her CD4 count is 450 cells per microliter and viral load is less than 50 copies per ml. And what is the estimated mother to child transmission in uh, such a woman in UK? So we have different options like 0.17%, uh, 1%, 1.2%, 0.5%, 0.5%, 0.5%, 0.5%, 0.5%, 0.5%, 0.5%, 0.5%, 0.5%, 0.5%, 0.5%, 0.5%, 0.5%, 0.5%, 0.5%, 0.5%, 0.5%, 0.5%, 0.5%, 0.5%, 0.5%, 0.5%, 0.5%, 0.5%, 0.5%
Okay, now coming to the next question, HIV in pregnancy, a 26 uh, years old known HIV positive woman on her uh, presents at 38 plus 3 weeks to the obstetric assessment unit with the confirmed pre-labor spontaneous rupture of membrane. Um, review of the blood test taken at 36 weeks of gestation reveals a CD4 count of 300 cells per picoliter and an undetectable viral load. Her first child was born by spontaneous vaginal delivery in Democratic Republic of Congo three years previously. Following British HIV Association guidance, what should her management plan be? Okay. So, CD4 count of 300. We have options like admit for induction of the labor, allow 24 hours uh, for the spontaneous um, labor, await the spontaneous onset of spontaneous labor but perform C section, deliver by C section once a course of course, IMSTI ride is complete and uh, is that of the C section. So, um, um, is delivered by C-section immediately. Okay, so again, we will we would like to go to this uh, flashcard. Okay, so uh, how to manage a case of undetectable viral uh, loads? Pregnant woman with undetectable viral load at 36 weeks can be managed as per HIV negative woman, with the exception of spontaneous rupture of membrane at term when the labor is to be expedited. Okay so we have to manage as HIV negative so in that case um, in this question the most appropriate answer would that be answer a that is admit for the induction of the labor okay next question is a 27 years old woman presents in a labor having um, had no antenatal care in UK she informs uh, the midwife that she is HIV positive she has had no antiretroviral treatment in her pregnancy what is the risk of vertical transmission with the no intervention in her case so we have different percentages 5 to 10 percent 15 to 20 percent 25 30 percent 35 to 40 percent 45 to 50 percent again we would like to check the the flash card Here the answer is A and for this question uh, the answer is C, okay, 25 to 30% is the risk of transmission, okay, in the women who are not on any antiretroviral therapy. Um, there is another video about uh, HIV in pregnancy, I will share the link very soon. And in that case, a video, there would be percentages related to HIV in pregnancy. So, basically, you have to remember that. Here, the answer is C, 25 to 30%. Okay, so here in this flashcard, the risk of transmission is written that vertical transmission untreated 25 to 30%. That is what asked in the question. And vertical transmission treated HIV approximately 8%. Transmission to the fetus in utero and untreated HIV 50 to 60% transmission to the baby during breastfeeding. And with the woman on corn and a very low undetectable viral load, the mother to child transmission rate is about 0.57%. So that is what asked in that question. Uh, in the question, um, basically, the first one is was asked the vertical transmission in case of untreated HIV. So, the answer was 25 to 30 percent. There was another question for uh, the last one as well 0.57 percent in case of the uh, undetectable viral load. The although the woman, woman uh, if the woman is on the card and undetectable viral load, then the mother to child transmission rate is 0.57 percent. So, here the answer is C. Okay, thank you so much. I explained few of the MCQs related to 